Hello, this is Nancy Hart, author of Whisper Sinners and Saints. If you hear music in the background, it is monks chanting. So today I would like to share a guided meditation. So please get comfortable, preferably in a lotus position with crossed legs and your eyes closed by the time the bell chimes. This exercise is to bring awareness that we are all responsible for our own happiness, gently reminding us to give ourselves what we are wanting others to give us. After all, we teach others how to treat us. If we do not treat ourselves well, why do we think another person will? Kindness, loving, ease, comfort, and joy. Have you even ever figured out what these words actually mean? Think about figuring this out after the guided meditation. Can you recall the last time you took a moment consciously for yourself and moreover was grateful that you did so? We each deserve these ingredients of joy, happiness, comfort to make us feel whole and appreciated. Anger, jealousy, envy, ego, or the enemy. Have you ever heard anyone name their child any of those obscurations? Of course not. Nobody wants anything like that around them. If a person doesn't come from love, they are not for our highest good. That goes for you being loving to your own self as well. If you are not at your own highest good, how are you to know what being knocked off that place feels like? Even plants need sun water and they flourish from kind words. Be like the lotus that breaks through the sore above the muck to blossom from a mere seed. Now a little introduction on chakras. Chakras are like body meridians, like the earth has. The ones uncommon to novices to chakra are Reiki, are the mention of the third eye, which connects you to higher awareness. The solar plexus, which is the band around your belly button, and the root chakra, which is the genital area. The, the root chakra connects you to the earth. The belly solar plexus is very important and is where trauma is stored. Breathing in and exhaling, of course, is very important for survival. And it is also important during meditation. No worries. For those who forget to breathe, I will guide you when the breath work is especially important. Now that we have all of that understood and we are comfortably sitting on the ground or in a chair with straight spine and closed eyes, we will begin. The Tibetan symbols inscribed into this bowl magically weave themselves into the vibrational sound you hear, guiding you into surrender and calmness. Allow this chime to continue its gentle way into your absorbing body. Exhale, breathe in. May the God in you see the God in me. Exhale. Breathe in. May the good in you see the good in me. Exhale. Breathe in. May God and me be one. Exhale. Breathe in. May my soul, my angels, my guiding light and God all be connected now. Exhale. Breathe in. May the power of the universe fill my body and mind with all good. Exhale. Breathe in. Let the white and blue light violet breath of the universe that shines from above 
Enter my body from the top of my head. Exhale. Breathe in. Watch as your feet grow roots, grounding you into the center of the universe. Exhale. Deeper. Breathe in. This next inhalation, make it long and watch the gray matter, the negative, toxic energy stored from trauma gather up as smoke within your body. Exhale very deeply from the solar plexus. And now breathe that in. Breathe in cleaner air. And watch the smoke gather up from the toes, picking up the residue stored into your body from hate, hurt, and anger. The smoke swirls up to your root chakra, picking up the stored junk and travels to your solar plexus. Exhale. Breathe deep. The smoke continues into the heart picking up particles like tumbleweed picks up everything in its mist, getting larger with each twirl and has worked its way now to the throat chakra. Exhale, breathe deep. Continuing on, the gray smoke whisks to the third eye, clearing out accumulated blockages and is now leaving to the top of your head. See it as a stream of smoke leaving through the top of your head. Exhale very deeply and remember to engage the solar plexus. The more you expel, the better you will feel, the more toxins you will be getting rid of. Now breathe in the clean white light to the top of your head. Now see yourself on top of a mountain, the highest mountain in all the land. Your arms are outstretched with only the sun kissing your face and the perfect temperature surrounding you. Smoke swirls around you like moving clouds. All that smoke has been expelled from your body how great it is not to own that anymore. Exhale, breathe in. You notice you are mouthing words to the universe while your arms are outstretched. Take all that gray, take all those dirty clouds and do what you do, you wonderful universe, and turn it into something beautiful. Make it right. Exhale very deeply as if blowing out birthday candles, pushing out the negative toxic energy around and away from you. Breathe in. With the sound of a snap of a finger, the sky riddles with a laughter of fireworks and a magical display of colors, all of which gently rains down on you, healing you into a state of bliss. Exhale. Breathe in. Each color trickles down into the perfectly correct chakra meridian it belongs, healing you within, emotionally and physically. Exhale. Breathe in all the goodness deeply. Be here for a few moments, enjoying your blissful moment until I count down from five to one. Meantime, do you hear your angels telling you to tell yourself, I have the power to be who I am, to honor your spirit guides and angels. Repeat, I have the power to be who I am. I have the power to be who I am. Five, four, three, two, one.
welcome back. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. As Buddhist monks say to each other and to their practitioners, Tashi Delek, have a wonderful life. Tashi Delek.